Hey everybody, welcome back. Today we're going to create decimal numbers with JavaScript. These are often called floats in other parts of the industry. Uh, we can store decimal numbers in variables too. Decimal numbers are sometimes referred to as floating points, numbers or floats. Note, not all real numbers can accurately be represented in floating point. This can lead to rounding errors. Uh, there's details here. JavaScript actually isn't great at math. If you get to a certain level, JavaScript starts making mistakes and uh, but that's not an issue. It's really not an issue for any sort of program that you're going to write, so don't even worry about it. So we want to create a variable called my decimal and give it the decimal value with a fractional part, uh, for example, 5.7. Um, they say uh, my decimal should be a number and my decimal should have a decimal point. Hmm. It looks like it's already there. It should be a number, our decimal. Okay, so what they have here is our decimal decimal okay and so what they want us to do is make one that's called my decimal uh, so yeah there my decimal is equal to 2.2 and this should pass the test great okay so I want to describe something a little bit more so if we want to render things out to here to the, the console which is down here we can go console dot log and then we can say uh, there's a, 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 a function in JavaScript called type of and then we can say 2.2. And this is going to render here, this number. It means that it's rendering a number. If we were to render a string, this is all stuff you haven't heard of yet, but say you re render a stream like my name, it comes out a string here, right? And then there's other data types called uh, arrays. And so this is going to be an object. And so this is um, what they're saying. The first test that they're saying is that they want the thing to come out to be a number. And the second thing they're saying is that they want it to be a float. But a uh, float and a number both render out the same when you're doing your type ofs. Huh. I hope this helps. In the last lesson, we were doing uh, increment and decrement. So we could uh, go my decimal uh, plus plus and then render out, uh, let's see, my decimal is 2.2. .2. Here we're. Uh, We're rendering out my decimal. As you can see, it's incrementing by one here. Uh, so first off, we've got my decimals set to 2.2, .2, and then we're set, we're printing out. So that's why we, why it comes out here is 2.2, .2, and then we're incrementing it by one. So now it's 3.2, and now let's say we wanted to incre increment it um, by a single point. You could say my decimal plus 0.1. And then if we console log it again, we're going to have 3.3. Uh, and this is a good example of what goes on with JavaScript when it gets weird. JavaScript's not great with math. Uh, it actually does this math incorrectly. And uh, that's just how JavaScript is. I hope this isn't confusing. I hope it's more intuitive to try to help you learn JavaScript a bit more. But uh, at the end of the day, all they want you to do to pass this test is that. And that's it. Thanks for watching. See you in the next lesson.